Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Quinn and welcome to my channel and another episode of Cheap versus Expensive where I compare two of the same products at different price ranges and let you know my thoughts and opinions regarding each one. So in this video, I am reviewing translucent setting powders. So on the low end, we have the Cody Airspun, which I got on Amazon for $5.95. And then on the high end, we have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which retails for $39. So the reason I chose the Cody Airspun is because this is actually one of the most popular affordable translucent setting powders on the market right now. I feel like every beauty YouTuber has at one point or another raved about this, including Tati Westbrook. Where is it? Westbrook. Westbrook. And the Laura Mercier is also another highly popular translucent setting powder that is very much hyped and raved about by beauty YouTubers online as well. I feel like so many YouTubers have at one point or another um, done a video on this and have loved it. So I've actually done separate videos reviewing each one of these in a previous video so if you want to know more information or more of an in-depth review be sure to check out those videos. In this video I'm just going to compare the two and uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison and also a wear test and just kind of um, see how they do against each other at the end of the day. Alright so let's first look at the packaging. The Laura Mercier has a um, plastic kind of frosted base with a glossy lid on top and it just has the Laura Mercier brand on the side of the lid. Personally I think this is a very sleek very nice design. This is the regular size and it only comes with one ounce. Compared to the Cody Airspun this is a plastic design also. It's clear plastic on the bottom and this orange on top with a uh, airspun label. I don't think they've ever changed the um, labeling on this or the design of this because I remember my grandma using this and it looking pretty similar to this so I'm pretty sure they've kept this original um, look since you know they first came out. The Cody airspun comes with 2.3 ounces so you're getting more than two times the amount of powder with the Cody Airspun as with the Laura Mercier. This is $39 and this is $6. One thing I will mention with the packaging is the Laura Mercier translucent semi powder. I've actually had this for months if not like close to a year. I have had this in my makeup bag, um, thrown it around and I've not once had any issues with the powder coming out. And this is a loose powder product and it's super fine um, but it's not messy because of the packaging. The Cody Airspun, this is new, I've only gotten this to review it and I haven't really thrown it into my makeup bag or anything but what I have noticed is that this lid kind of just pops off. There's no screw or anything, so it does. it's not as secure as the Laura Mercier packaging where this screws on and pretty much seals. So I can see if this is like thrown in your makeup bag kind of carelessly or if it's like upside down, I can see this lid kind of just popping off because there's nothing to really secure it. Um, so that's kind of another thing to think about. I can see this being a complete mess of your makeup bag. It seems like it's a very easy fix for them. They just have to redesign, you know, the lid and the base just to kind of screw on and tighten. But other than that, it is pretty nice packaging. I like that it's really sleek and um, yeah, I mean it serves its purpose. Another thing is the Cody Airspun also comes with a puff which I think is really, really nice for um, applying the powder if you're going to bake your makeup onto your face because it applies a generous amount of powder. Normally I would use a beauty blender and you can't get as much of the powder on your face with the beauty blender as with a puff like this. Speaking of being generous with the application, because the Cody Airspun comes with 2.3 ounces and it's so much cheaper, I feel like I can actually be generous with the application if I'm baking um, you know, concealer on or if I'm baking makeup onto my face. And I can actually use a lot of product with this and not really worry about it too much. With the Laura Mercier, because it is so expensive, $39 compared to the six, I feel like I have to kind of be a little frugal because um, when you're baking makeup onto your face, you have to use a lot of powder. And I feel like that's just wasting a lot of an expensive powder like this one. Um, so that's kind of another thing also to consider. Laura Mercier also has a velour puff that they recommend using with their translucent setting powder. However, that's sold completely separate. So if you want their puff, you have to dish out a little bit more money for it, which 
um, you know, this one actually comes with it. So that's kind of another thing to consider as well. So just looking at both these powders, it looks like the Laura Mercier has a more yellowish tone to it and the Cody Airspun has a more pinkish tone to it, which for me, um, I feel like the yellow would be a little bit better for my skin tone. However, um, the Cody Airspun actually comes in three shades. The translucent, which is this one right here, they have a honey beige and also a naturally neutral. The naturally neutral, from what I've seen online, um, looks like it has more of that yellow undertone, such as the Laura Mercier. So I feel like if I were to get this again, I would get it in the naturally neutral instead of the translucent powder because this has that more pinkish undertone but i like that the cody airsman has the three different shade options but laura mercier actually has a medium deep shade for the translucent setting powder for darker skin tones whereas the cody airsman doesn't have any options for um, deeper skin tones now as far as how both powder feels i feel like they're very very similar in feel and texture of the powder um, regarding how finely milled they are. I'm having a really hard time trying to figure out which powder is milled finer, um, which, you know, says a lot in my opinion. It feels like the Laura Mercier is just a touch softer. Uh, when I rub it into my skin like this, it feels like the Laura Mercier just feels a lot more like velvety than the Cody Airspun. The Cody Airspun, when I rub into my hand like this, I can feel it just being a bit more grainy than the Laura Mercier. So I think um, the Laura Mercier is just a little bit finer milled than the Cody Airspun. All right, so let's go ahead and apply it onto my face. I wanna see how the powders look on my face. And also, more importantly, I'm gonna do a wear test to see which powder is better at controlling oil on my face throughout the day. Right now, I have pretty much all of my makeup on except for concealer, setting powder, and blush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer. And for that, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I'm just going to blend that in with a beauty blender. All right, so now that I have my concealer on, I'm going to apply the translucent setting powders onto my face. So on the right side of my face, I'm going to apply the uh, Cody Airspun. And on this side of my face, I'm going to be applying the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Um, I have two different beauty blenders to apply them with so the powders do not mix. For this video, just because I want to keep as many things constant as possible, I'm using the beauty blenders instead of the puff that comes with the Cody Airspun. Okay, so now that both setting powders are on my face, I'm going to actually leave them on for a couple minutes just so they set a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to take some fluffy brushes and apply just a very, very thin layer of powder on the rest of my face. And this is totally optional, but I'm going to be applying some contour and blush and personally I think that contour and blush goes on and blends out a lot easier when there's a very very thin layer of setting powder on my face because right now there's a cream or liquid base on my face so I feel like that just makes it a lot tackier so if I have a layer of powder that's more translucent I can add more powder on without it coming on too strong on my face now I'm going to come in with my Benefit Hoola contour powder I love this stuff all right so now I'm gonna come in with that big fluffy brush again and just um, sweep all of this excess powder off my face and just blend that all in okay so now I'm just going to add a little bit of blush to finish up this look so that is it here is my finished makeup look with both translucent setting powders on my face we have the Cody airspun on this side and the Laura Mercier on this side so just looking at it um, in my little viewfinder here both sides actually look the same my makeup looks very even I feel like my skin looks very very smooth and soft and I really like the look of both sides so these translucent powders give you a very matte finish uh, and if you're not a huge fan of that you can definitely come in with a little bit of highlight and also you can spray your face with a setting mist to set everything in and kind of take away a little bit of that powderiness and not make it look so matte for this comparison though I don't want to add any more shimmer or anything because I want to do a wear test and just see how well both these um, setting powders 
control my oil so I don't want to add any sheen or anything on top of it that might affect the outcome of this so I'm just going to leave this powder on my face as is anyway I'm going to check back with you guys in a few hours and let you know how both of these setting powders wear throughout the day and see which one does a better job controlling my oil and which one um, stays on my face better all right, I will see you guys in just a little bit. So it's been about five hours since I initially applied my makeup. And here's what my makeup looks like with both the Cody Airspun and the Laura Mercier translucent setting powders. Overall, I feel like both of the translucent setting powders did a great job controlling my oil. If I were to nitpick, I would say that the Cody Airspun side is just slightly more oily than the Laura Mercier side. But honestly, I feel like I'm having a great makeup day today. My makeup looks almost flawless. My skin is normally really oily and considering that's been five hours into the day, um, I feel like my makeup still looks really, really nice. It looks very um, smooth and very like soft as well. So I'm really happy with both of these setting powders. I feel like both powders delivered as promised, um, but if I had to pick, I think the Laura Mercier did just a little bit better than the Cody Airspun, just because the Laura Mercier side was a little bit less oily than the Cody Airspun side. So one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that the Cody Airspun actually has a very uh, strong smell to it. Uh, it's almost kind of like a perfumey, powdery smell, and I feel like it can be overpowering for a lot of people, myself included. Um, when I was doing the comparison, I completely forgot about it because I had just done a separate review for this powder and I forgot to mention that, but that is also something worth considering as well. Uh, if you're sensitive to strong smells and you don't like a lot of fragrance in your products, I definitely would recommend the Laura Mercier over the Airspun. But if you don't really care too much about the smell, I think the Cody Airspun is the better buy. Um, just because it comes with a lot more product um, and it is so much cheaper than the Laura Mercier. Even though I feel like the Laura Mercier is a little bit better than the Cody Airspun, I just feel like the price difference isn't really justifiable considering how this is only slightly better than this. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you tried both of these translucent setting powders before? And if you have, please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and if you are subscribed and you haven't done so already please click on that notification bell so you can see more videos like this I hope to see you guys in the next video bye